My first injection was when I was 12 years old. The second the needle punctured my skin and I felt the medicine going inside me, my whole life was changed. It was like this chain reaction formed and I knew what I had to do. I, I thought, why stop at 510? Why not keep going? And that's what I'm doing. Hi, I'm David Evans, and I'm on a quest to be the tallest person in the world. They're looking good. I was a normal kid. I played sports, hung out with friends, did my homework. It wasn't until about nine years old that we started to notice something. When we went to the endocrinologist, they had me in the bottom 99th percentile for height. Uh, compared to kids my age. Um, in fact, if you look at my growth chart, I actually got shorter for a couple of years. If you look closely from 10 to 12, uh, I, I shrunk a couple of inches. So steps really did need to be taken. Keep in mind, this is before short kings were a thing. Um, no one really respected me. It was, it was tough. I'm just gonna take off the, oh boy, these stems. Look at this, these stems are tough. It's funny, as a kid, uh, I came up to about here, so I wasn't able to reach any of the, the oranges on the tree. So it's really quite a blessing. You know, we come out here in the, in the morning, in the afternoon, and my mom makes a, a wonderful marmalade uh, pie, which is, which is fantastic. Okay. I'm gonna take these in? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll just pick up that stuff and come follow you after. Is that's that fine, okay? that's fine. Yeah. This is Robert Wadlow. He was eight, 11 when he passed. He's such an inspiration to me. I mean, look at him. Amazing. That's the goal, to eventually get there. Like eight, 11 and a quarter, just above, above Robert. Uh, so I can take him out of the, the history books and, and, and replace him. It's gonna be an incredible moment when I do that. We have to be quite aggressive when it comes to dosing. Since my growth plates are essentially closed, we have to pump an exorbitant amount of medicine into my body for it to have any effect on my height. So there's no change in the last four times. Mm -hmm. All right, we have to up the dose. It's fine. We're at 50, we have to go up. Hey Siri, play teen beats. Part of me does wonder if what I'm doing is wrong. You know, doctors have said that my organs will continue to grow and grow and grow if I continue at this pace, but to me, it's worth it. The testicles are a prime indicator of growth hormone production. So this is an orchidometer. It measures testicles from smallest to, to largest. When I was going through puberty, Every six months, a man with a beard would take my scrotum in his hands and measure the size of my testicles. And if there was growth in the size of the testicles, he would smile and write that down. And, and that's how we knew the growth hormone was working. So I, I still do that now. It, it's just on a, a bit of a larger scale. 85. Is she coming? Yeah. Uh, Mom, just come in for one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. I am. Yeah, it's just here. Yeah. Okay, thank you. This is my mom. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I brought the photo book out. Oh my gosh. I haven't look. seen that in a long time. First grade. I know. One of my favorite pictures of you. And, and I still have that card that you made for me. Do you remember where you were here? That was London. I think it was. Yeah. No, it, it definitely was. I remember. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Great memory. <laughs> so cute. Ah, oh, there it Ah, oh, my little baby. Mom. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I don't want to cry in front of the camera. No, 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 it's okay. But I'm fine. Why are you crying? I'm fine. I'm just thinking about everything that's happened. I mean, did I do the right thing or not? I mean, Mom, he, it's fine. he was Just... short, you know, it, it really was the right move. Um, we just didn't know that um, this could happen. It's and a, it's not it's your fault. Not, know, Mom, but... it's, not, it's, it's not your fault. This is my choice. I'm doing this. It's okay. I know. It's not your fault. I'll be I love you. Oh. 
Sometimes I try to think about what my life would be like without the medicine. You know, if I was just shorter. They say we spend our whole lives trying to fulfill a need that was denied to us in the first few months of living. Some hole inside of us that we're trying to fill. But what I'm searching for was denied thousands and thousands of years ago, passed down from generation to generation, ending up with me. I'll tell you one thing. When I hit 8, 11 and a quarter on that growth chart, I'll be healed.